Norman and I are doing two installations for the Lantern Festival. One is in the side one, and the installation name is La La La. The installation can transform itself. We use the weather, the nature, and the work just you know, to fit in the place. We had a lot of ideas, but um, eventually we decided to just go with the environment. We created a workflow that completely follows the environment. We follow the wind, we follow the traffic, we follow the architecture. So we decided to use these two posts to sort of create, a, I would say, a field in between that responds to the environment. We want to use the subtle sound in, um, on that side. Sound can improve the movement and the energy of the work. In a windy day, the work is floating and transforming it by itself. And the sound can give more energy, more attention to contribute in the work. The second side is within the Auckland domain. It's right at the center of the festival. It's the main pedestrian pathway. And um, we are invited to design and to install a piece of artwork on the low fences. The work name is Morning Glory. We want the people to see the rhythm of the, the line and we want to use the reflective material to attract people's eyes at night. We want to follow the form of the site, the form of the pathway. We want to also want to enhance the sense of festival. So at the end, we created a, like what Alvin described as a music rhythm that not only creates a visual pleasure to the people, it has two types of purposes. One is to avoid the pedestrian to walk into it, and the second is um, to create a dynamic sort of atmosphere that enhances the environment of the Lantern Festival. I really enjoy studying um, at University of Auckland because we have quite good facilities and good tutors there. And I really like the group critique. Getting the feedback from discipline artists can improve my idea. And um, it's good to know the different perspective from different background people. The University of Auckland is a fantastic institute that really teaches me how to love my profession. The tutors and lecturers do it really, really encourages. They tend to guide you through your career pathway rather than force you to love the profession. They kind of suggest you how to use the knowledge or the passion you have to contribute to the society, the environment, rather than training a group of trademen. It wants us to be leaders of the world.